This is so cool! And then a lime for garnish. A spooky <laughs> mule! I'm obsessed. <laughs> Well, this is gonna be really, really fun for everybody who's 21 and over. Um, hey, what up, it's Sisney, and Kelly is Hi. with me today. She is an expertise when it comes <laughs> to mixology. So we wanted to show you guys a few fun cocktails that you can make for Halloween. Um, this one is called the Spooky Mule. So it's essentially like a Moscow Mule, Correct. right? Yes, but with a little extra fun added in. The flair on this <laughs> cocktail is that you are going to incorporate dry ice, which is actually in here. And I have never really handled dry ice before. I've seen it in movies, I feel, or sometimes <laughs> when I order food, it comes in like these weird dry ice packs. <laughs> Um, but so I do want to, we're going to maybe write down some disclaimers on the bottom of this video so that you guys know just how serious it is to handle dry ice. I'm not trying to scare you, but you like can't touch it in crap. I don't know. So I don't know. Look at this. I mean, we like highlighted the important, <laughs> the important things. So just to kind of like put some things in perspective, it says do not handle with your bare hands. Okay. Do not put in your mouth. Obviously do not inhale. Um, do not leave dry ice on a tiled countertop, and apparently you can't put dry ice on glass. So if you have like a glass table, I thought we could put this paper bag of dry ice on the glass table, and Kelly was like, no. Um, I thought, oh, we'll put it in the freezer. And she was like, <laughs> no. So there's a few takeaways from this handy safety sheet, and we will put that up so you guys know exactly. Well, I don't know if we'll have a scroll, or we'll, we'll put it up at the end of the video. I don't know. Let's get to the fun stuff. So what do we do first? So step one is going to be the dry ice. You're gonna put in a little chip of dry ice at, in the bottom of the mug. So I'm using tongs. Again, do not use your hands. I'm just like, we, I, we are not held responsible for what you do with the dry ice. And dry ice will sink to the bottom. Um, so this is the first thing you put it in the cup? Yes. The cup is empty. And just drop it in there. And as the liquid hits it, it will all right. Evaporate, basically. Mm, now what? So it is safe to put in a drink. Um, next, you're going to add the ice. We're going to put regular ice in there as well. How many cubes? Just fill it up. Fill it up. These, are, these kind of started melting. Oh! <laughs> that is, that's some Two skills points. right there. <laughs> I'm just using my hands, because let's be honest, who cares? It's all good. Um, all right, got that. And then we're just gonna go right down the line and add the vodka. Which already has an ice cube in it, so points for that. Oh, look at this, it's starting to activate. And then lime juice. Lime juice. And we'll put all the amounts of go, oh my God, that's so And cool. then you're gonna add in the uh, ginger beer. Ginger beer, you guys, wow! <laughs> Wait, is it gonna overflow? No. This is so cool! And then a lime for garnish. A spooky <laughs> mule! I'm obsessed. <laughs> so when is it safe to eat or to drink? I mean, drink? you can drink it now, like I said. No, the really? Dry, the dry ice stays on the bottom, so as long as you're not, it, it's not gonna come to the top. It's, it's, it'll be gone by the time you would get down, like the dry ice will stay <laughs> on the bottom of the, of the mug. I'm scared, am I supposed to be scared? Okay. It's delicious. And it's bubbly. <laughs> It feels like something is dying in there, which is the perfect spooky mule effect that you want for your guests. Imagine if you poured this at your party. They would be like, you are so cool. So, all right, thank you, Kelly. That was awesome. Um, should we do another one? Yes. Okay, we're gonna clean this up and we're gonna do another drink for you guys. So the last drink that we made was uh, vodka-based. So this one is tequila-based and it is a vampire margarita. So where do we start with this one? Uh, we are going to put the ingredients, except for the wine, up. Uh, That's red wine? Yep. <laughs> into the shaker. Okay. So, so start with the tequila. Got a little bit of ice in the shaker already. Um, we'll do a tequila. And then lime juice. Mm -hmm. And then uh, simple syrup. We did not know what that was, but now we do. Simple syrup. Okay. And then shake it up. Oh, this is the part where I'm <laughs> never really 
I get so scared. I'm not a good shaker. I know. Oh, oh no. Hopefully you're better than I am. Okay, is that good enough, you think? That's probably good. Should we do more? Okay, wait. I have to put it back in this one now, or does it matter? No, you can just put them together and strain it into the glass. Oh, you're making me do all this fancy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do it? No, I can do it. No, I can do it. If I see, guys, anybody can do this. You're a pro. I'm not a pro. <laughs> okay, let's just... Leave it at that. And then for the final step, uh, we add the uh, red wine float on top, which can be a little bit tricky, so. So you're not gonna let me do it. Uh. <laughs> cool. You basically take a spoon, a regular tablespoon, with the bottom side up, and then you're gonna take your- Bottom side up! Facing the ceiling, then you're going to take the wine and pour slowly over the back of the spoon. Huh. and you will get a nice Ooh, little red layer on the top of there. I, which makes it the vampire margarita and we can put a lime on there too. Vampires like limes. That is limes amazing. And, <laughs> and then you serve that to your guests and you go, I want to suck your blood. <laughs> no? Okay. All right, well there you have it guys. You have the vampire margarita and the spooky mule. I don't know, it's a close tie between which one's my favorite because I think they're both equally cool. So cheers. Cheers. And happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. That is good. The red wine, I would never think that. <laughs> it's really good.